boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are giving, Mr. Hitler, if you think old England's done? Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21. But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done. Then I'll look posh, Mr. Jones. Yeah, we've got to look after things these days, Pikey boy. They don't make bands like this anymore, you know. You've got to nurture them with craftsmanship and, and oil and, and things. <laughs> look, look at that, that's real gold leaf, that is, really. Vanity, sheer vanity. He just wants to bandy his name all over the town as if it was a tin of baked beans. <laughs> I think it looks rather jolly, you know. It'll cheer people up a lot as it runs along, even if there isn't any meat in it. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson, yes, with their secret signs. All right, yes. This is very confidential. Oh, I see, yes. I've got it. Would you mind getting that? Uh, I don't think... Uh, would you mind getting that in? Yes, if you can. Would you mind just... Captain. Wilson. Yes, sir? Wilson. Yes, yes. What did you do? Wilson. I'm here, sir. Where are <laughs> Wilson. I'm over here, around the back, you see? Ah. Do you want to shoot? Sir? Did you want to shoot? Did you want to shoot? You want me, sir? What are you doing? Well, you asked me to, to uh, get the men to uh, gather round uh, confidentially. Hmm? What I have to say is confidential. Not the fact that they have to gather round. <laughs> <coughs> now, pay attention. Excuse me, Mr. Manreen. Mr. Jones had his van done up. It looks nice, doesn't it? Don't interrupt, Pike. You'll be sent home. <laughs> Say it's highly confidential. I say it really does look awfully nice, doesn't it? I beg your pardon? Well, Joseph Van, I mean, he really has done a marvellous job on it, don't you think so, sir? <laughs> yeah. Now, this area. Excuse me, Mr. So Manning. <laughs> Excuse me. If Sergeant Wilson interrupts again, you're going to send him home? <laughs> yes, I'll tell you again, Frank. Now, <laughs> this area has been selected for the divisional scheme. And the broad outline of the plan is... <laughs> You've knocked down my running ball. Look, look leave, it, leave it where it is. We'll deal with that later. Do that, Mr. Manrin. Be quiet. He put his great heavy leg on my... <laughs> you better be quiet, Mr. Jones, otherwise he'll send you home. He's got one of his moods on. <laughs> Three battalions of regular troops will move into this area of Warmington and Eastgate, and they will defend it in depth. Now, our task is a vitally important one. We are going to signpost the area so that the units reach their correct destination. Right? Now, the axis of advance is down the Clayton Road. Thus. <laughs> You shouldn't do that, that Mr. Manrin. <laughs> Who's spoiling my van, Mr. Manrin? Look oh, what don't done. fast. Don't rub off. You're making it worse. <laughs> don't, don't. You're desecrating it, Mr. Manrin. <laughs> <laughs> we can soon retouch that. Don't worry about it. Now, <clears throat> as you know, the signposts have been removed. So without our help, the whole convoy uh, could end up in chaos. Now, that is why you've been asked to prepare secret signs, so that they can find their way. Now, who's got the one for Warmington? Oh, it's awfully good, Frank. Terribly good. Oh, yes. The hand is almost lifelike. Don't you think so, sir? Yes, well done, Frank. It's got dirty fingernails. I, I don't like that sort of thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just one thing, Captain Manning. It's, it's pointing the wrong way. How do you mean? They're coming down yonder road, Warmington. It's to the left. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering who'd be the first to spot that. <laughs> well, it's easily solved, isn't it? <laughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> All you've got to do is stand on your head. Oh. Don't be impertinent, Pike. 
It, it's quite simple, sir, quite simple. There you are. You just put it up thus ways. And then the body of men coming down the road will see that there's nothing on it, and they will find that intriguing. And they will say to themselves, I wonder if there's nothing also as well as also on the other side. <laughs> and they will go around the other side, and it will be pointing the right way, and we shall win the ball. <laughs> Who's got the Eastgate sign? Oh, here it is, sir. What's <laughs> that? Well, sir, you said it was secret, so I thought I'd better do it in code. The Chinaman for East and the Gate for Gate. East Gate. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good idea at all. Send him home. <laughs> Now, you'll be dropped off the van one by one, and I shall give the signal for that, like this. <laughs> Do you mind not hitting that van in the aforesaid manner, sir? Will you stop fussing, Jones? That is a war on your own. Yes, sir, but there's no need to spoil my van. That's up to Hitler. <laughs> now, it's quite on the cards that you'll have to drive the van across country. And you may well get stuck. Now, this in itself is not important, providing we're prepared for it. Uh, J Jones, just, um, get in the van, will you? Sir? Pretend you're driving across country and you get stuck. Yes, right, sir. Uh, you won't have to hit my van again, will you, sir? Just get in the driving Yes, very good, sir. Now, the materials you should carry are one, sawdust, two, empty sacking, three, flax, and four, a length of rope. Now, with these, and a certain amount of brute force, you should be able to overcome any hazard. All right, Jones, switch off, switch off, switch off. Right, now the wheels are spinning round, what do we do? We use uh, sawdust or straw to get a grip and maybe a wee bit of a push, eh? Good, good, good. Right, take up your pushing positions. Right, right sir. Yes. I shall supervise from here. Right. <laughs> hey, you. Look, you're spoiling my van again. You made that all dangle, look. I do wish you'd look after this van. <laughs> Fall into pieces. Right, sawdust, Wilson. I beg your pardon, sir? Sawdust. Over there, Uncle, by the wall. Uh, what about it? Put it under the wheel. Oh, I see what you mean, just under the wheel. There. Right. <clears throat> right. And don't dawdle. Oh, We've got a lot of ground to cover. Nice, sir. Like this, sir, this sort of thing. Is that all right? Like that? Yes, you'll need a lot more than that. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, clear it up, Pike. <laughs> <laughs> He's only just thrown it down. Good <laughs> to boy. Now, that'll get you out of any mud or soft country. Uh, of course, it would done, have done just as well had we used straw. He's not throwing straw down as well, is he? <laughs> now, a little wrinkle here that's worth knowing, in case you should meet any heavy ice. And that is, let down the pressure of the rear tyres. I'll just show you how to do that. It's very simple. Get out of the way. It's so <laughs> easy. It's so easy. If you just... <laughs> now, you just depress the needle of the valve. And let it glare out like this. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what are you doing to my van? Well, it seems to have got stuck. Give it a kick, uh, right. Oh, let's kick it a lot harder than that. The plunge is stuck. Come on. Just a minute. 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 Just He's... he's trying to buy something. Stand by to tick him off the list, Wilson. Right, sir. Now, this is a great responsibility and a great honour. One wrong sign and the whole divisional scheme can be wrecked. Uh, there, there's nothing, sir. There it is. First sign poster out. You're spoiling my van again, Mr. Manuel. <laughs> Oh, don't be absurd, Jones. I've got to give the signal to the men. Well, can't you make another noise that doesn't spoil my van? <laughs> Why don't you toot your hooter? Ah, that's a good suggestion, Pike. We'll toot the hooter when we want you to disembark. Is that clear? Did you hear? 
He's going to dunk the hood out when he wants you to get in. <laughs> I have some good ideas sometimes, don't I? <laughs> Yeah, the first man is alighted safely. Right, drive on, Joe. Brad Jones, signal the last man out. Tick him off the list, Wilson. Right, sir. Hey! My duty won't coach! <laughs> Give it a good push, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now, I can't have anything left if you carry on like this. Well, never mind, Jones. Go help in the war effort. The <laughs> signpost has just descended off the back, Mr. Manreen. Right, now turn the van round, Jones. Drive back to the crossroads. And when the convoy's gone through, then we can pick up everybody. See that, Wilson. Perhaps you manage. Perhaps the driver's gone off into the field to have a. That'll do, Pike. <laughs> There's no pretty in mind of the Marie Celeste. She was found abandoned in the midst of an empty ocean. Food on the tables, wine in the glasses, not a human soul aboard, the dead or alive, only the creak of the rigging and the eerie cry of the birds. <laughs> <laughs> No strikey cotton money. No, not really. <laughs> Captain Manry, uh, there's a note here. It says, gone to get some coal. Oh, we can't hang about. He might have gone for miles. We'll drive round. Back on the van, everybody. Rather a lot of rain lately. Sure we weren't bogged down. Oh, nonsense. The ground's as firm as a rock. Anybody can see that. Everybody on the van. Excuse me, sir. Wouldn't it be better if some of us were to stay off the van so we could lighten the load? You're not very scientific, are you, Wilson? Anybody knows that extra weight gives more traction to the driving wheels. Oh. Do use your common sense. Well, that's <laughs> right, drive on, Joan. <laughs> Do you think some of them should stay on so as to give more traction to the wheels? Don't be flippant, Wilson. <laughs> the men are in the pushing position, sir. Right. Captain Manning, sir. Yes. Uh, would it be in order if I push with only one hand? I, I've got some rheumatism in the shoulder. You see, my sister makes me have breakfast by the window. The draft comes right through to the door. If you're not fit for frontline duty, Godfrey, you shouldn't come at all. I, I didn't want to disappoint you, sir. <laughs> well done, Godfrey. Stand by to push. Take it away, Jones. That's it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Nom, 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 Yes, you 
you've made of your uniform. Hey, should we not be using the sawdust, Captain Wonder? Yes, of course we should. Shove it underneath the wheel. Right, sir. Now, all push when I give the word. And, Jones, you let the clutch in when I give you the signal. Excuse me, sir. Right, uh, sir. Pike should stand back this time. Certainly not. If you go on mollycoddling that boy, he'll finish up a complete Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Stand by. Push. <laughs> it nearly got it that time. Yes, I got it all right. <laughs> In the mud, are we? Ignore him, Wilson. I don't want you to lose your temper with him. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Playing at mud pies, are you? You wait till Mummy sees you. Come on, son. Give us a push. Help the war effort. It's no use just pushing. You want to lift the back at the same time. You come and lift down the back here with me, Mr. Rogers. I'm not standing where you are. All that mud and stuff will come flying all over me. Jonesy, try to reverse, then we can go out the way we came in. That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> right. One, two, three, lift! Get the planks out. Uh, we left the planks at the hall, Mr. Mannering. Left them in the church hall? Put somebody on a charge, Wilson. Mr. Mannering? We could take the doors off the van and use those. Good idea. Give me a screwdriver, Jones. <laughs> you can't have my doors. Why not? Won't do them any harm. I do not wish to appear insubordinate or mutinous in my manner, sir. I, I must stand up and boldly defy you, sir. Or even threaten you with blackmail. Are <laughs> oh, you safe? <laughs> Cancel your offer and put you on my sausage blacklist. Mr. Jones. I have a blacklist of certain people I will not supply sausages to, and I'll write your name down on that list. I'm sorry, Mr. Mannering. I never thought I'd utter these words to you, but you've driven me to it. Come, my Mannering. Why don't we ask yon warden fellow to give us a wee bit too? That's a good idea. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? If I may say so, I think we should be very diplomatic with him. Oh, don't worry. I will. I will. Hey, you, Hodges. Come here. <laughs> You've done it. Be good enough to give us a tow, will you? Give you a tow? What have you ever done for me? There's a large military convoy due along this road, and we're responsible for seeing that it gets to its destination. Well, that's your hard bun, mate. Oh, very really well. In the name of the King, I requisition your vegetable van. Oh, no, you don't. That van's full of logs for the warden's post, and I'm going to deliver it. If you don't like it, you know what you can do. Why don't you shoot him, Mr. Mannering? <laughs> Come on, you've got the authority. You can shoot him. Go I on. said be quiet. Hey, look. look. He's trying to drive around the same as we. You'll get stuck just the same as we did. Oh, no, I won't. You don't be looking thin. Hey, who do you think you're calling a dopey looking thing? I won't get stuck, mate, because I've got it up here. I've got a background and the driving wheels will be leading, like they are in a four wheel drive. That's where you want it, Sonny. You could shoot him, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> Don't run away, Frank. All you want to do is use your loaf. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Give us a push. Do we help him, sir? No. Just come away. <laughs> You stuck, Mr. Mannering? Well, only slightly, but we'd be glad of a, a few willing hands to give us an extra push. Come on, boys and girls, I need a bit of a push. Oh, come on, all right, 
We'll soon be out now. Uh -huh. I don't think they're going to be very much help, sir. Oh, this won't do at all. <laughs> we'll manage, thank you. Go back on again. All right, boys and girls, back on the bus. Back on the bus. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll come near enough to tie the rope on, then I'll reverse and pull you out. The ground's all right here. Everybody else. Oh, come on, boys and girls. Everybody up. <laughs> you know, I I'm terribly sorry about all this, Mr. Blewett. It certainly seems a very strange way to spend your annual party. Well, it's better than sitting in that drafty church hall listening to those boring old songs. I thought you said you liked my songs. Right, here we go. Won't he get stuck? Look. I'm just about fed up with your pessimistic attitude, Wilson. Anyone can see the ground is perfectly sound over there. The driver knows what he's doing. Right? Sammy, yeah. I think you ought to know something. Mm. The bus is stuck. <laughs> what? Hey, Captain Mannering, yeah. I suppose you realise the convoy will be coming down the road 15 minutes from now. Right, you, if you're right, Fraser. Lorries will be piling for a mile or more. Chaos! It'll be sheer chaos. And you're responsible. <laughs> There'll be a laughing stock, man, a laughing stock. I just thought you ought to know. <laughs> you could divert them at the crossroads. Let me divert them at the crossroads, sir. I'd like to volunteer to do that. It's five miles away. It would take you an hour, even if you ran. Which you can't. <laughs> hey, look, Mr. Manry. You could get a lift on that motorcycle. And a lot of people. Oh no, hide. <laughs> but I can't hide in this. Well, let's pretend we haven't noticed them. Give <laughs> my bike! How dare you! It's not your petrol. Oh, I pinched it from the vicar. <laughs> yeah. What do you do gallivanting with him? I've done nothing to be ashamed of, Mr. Jones. Mr. Yateman said he'd take me to pick bluebells. <laughs> <laughs> That's my husband you've got there. You said you was going to be all day repairing the organ. And what about you? You said you got to go to an affair at the WES. Well, I, I'll take full responsibility. Norman, I don't care, Beryl. Let the world know. <laughs> it's been five years in heaven, and now we must face the music. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Yeatman, I must warn you, if something has been going on, I may have to reconsider your position in the church. <laughs> oh, the scandal. Those pointing fingers. Those wagging tongues. There aren't no bluebells at this time of the year. <laughs> oh, we must sort this out some other time. In the name of the king, I requisition this motorbike. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Come on. I'm going to get a tractor to tow me out. In that case, you can give me a lift to the crossroads. All right, get on the back and start bumping. What are you talking about? Bump, bump up and down to get us through the mud like they do in the scrambles. You've seen them. Right. Get in and start bumping. Yon mannering shouldn't have been doing that at his time of life. In the ordinary course of events, we'd all be sitting around the fire reading something. Come on! Bump up and down! Bump, bump! Bump, bump! I am bumping! <laughs> bump some more! Keep bumping! I am bumping! I'll bump more! Sergeant Wilson, we can manhandle it. Hi, we can manhandle it. Ready, boys? All right, ready. Right. One, two, three. Let's go. Captain Manning, you left it a little bit behind. You ruddy hooligans, look at you down on my back, you ruined it! <laughs> you know, you're very heavy handed with vehicles, Mr. Manning. <laughs> you should cherish them more, and they would respond likewise. Why did we get the steam engine to pull us out? Because, Wilson, we have no coal. Yes, but Hodge's van is full of logs. Wondered how long it would take you to think of that. <laughs> right. Get the wood off Hodge's van. Oh, no, you don't. You're not having my wood, and that's final. You really ought to shoot him, Mr. Manning. Right, <laughs> right, heaven's sake. Get the wood onto the fire. Fraser, yes, you know sir. how to drive this steam roller. Aye. Right, put it into position. Right, sir. Right. Disconnect the trailer. Yes, Mr. Manning. 
Music, Mr. Mandarin. Good. <laughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> Captain Henry. Yes. I I've just been thinking. My sister Dolly's auntie Elsie's got a cottage at the crossroads. I could telephone her from from that telephone box, and she could divert the convoy. Uh, she's little, but she's very determined. I think that's probably our best chance, don't you, Wilson? I think it's our only chance, sir. Right. Make the phone call. Yes. Get that steamroller moving. Turn the bit. Get more. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I think the line's out to afford to Mr. Manry. <laughs> Mr. Manry, the wire's down. Oh, you've really done it now, haven't you? That convoy will come piling up the road and there's nothing you can do about it! Don't you believe it. My men will have this lot joined up in no time. Where there's a will, there's a way. Back off, Fraser. Bit more. Bit more. Right, put the tablets in, Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good morning, operator. Uh, will you give me Warbington on C302, please? 